everyone. Oh my gosh, the haul today is major. So if you look behind me, we have four huge Zara boxes. These boxes are so heavy. I'm like astonished, like what did I order? I knew it was a big order, but because they had a huge sale, but like I'm so excited to dig into these boxes. I literally hopped in the shower, did my hair really quick, and I was like, come on, I need to make a video. So I'm so excited to share with you guys. Let's get to it and open it. Oh man. Okay. Woo! Okay. Box number one. Oh my god, I feel like these are gonna go toppling over. Okay. Woo! It's a lot. I see a lot of a lot of clothes in here. Okay, ooh, this is cute. So first thing we have is this stretchy suede like micro mini skirt um i love this little front design super cute so i got this in a size large and it says 29.90 but i'll i'll put the prices on the screen like usual because all this was on sale so i feel like this maybe is supposed to be low fitting but i always like um high waisted but this this is stretchy which i love stretchy clothes this feels cute i hope that's a win Next we have, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. Look at these shorts, you guys. <gasps> the details, it's just like such a beautiful, like classy fit. What size did I get these in? I got these in a size medium. It says $45.90. I'm not even gonna say the prices because I got everything on sale, I'm pretty sure. Maybe like one, I think I got one thing not on sale, but <gasps> these shorts, I hope these fit. I feel like Zara sizing is so bad. But oh my gosh, the little buttons. I love the little pleat in the front and the length looks extra good. Oh, love that. Oh, and they even folded everything so nicely in the box. Like sometimes it's like thrown in a bag and it's so not so, so awful. This is in a size large and what are these? Oh, these are pants. Oh my gosh, these are like tweed dreamy pants look at these little side buttons oh the details zara like does such good duping dupes with the details their quality is so so but these actually feel really lightweight for being tweed i don't think they have any stretch to them oh my gosh i love these i really hope these work out i hope these fit i feel like these are such these are so classy and beautiful. I'm going to put all the stuff over here actually. Next we have, oh, this is a jumper or um, jumpsuit. This is a size medium. Oh my gosh. I hope this works out. This is really cute. Look at this. It even has pockets in the back and the front. And I just love these little buttons. Now are these fake buttons or real buttons? Oh no, they're real buttons because this actually, you can get through. This, I feel like is such a classy look. You could even pair it with a belt. This, I'm digging. This is, oh my gosh. Ah, oh, you guys, I feel like I'm gonna keep every single item. So I think I spent like $1,500. So I'm hoping, some of this stuff I definitely bought in two sizes from what I can remember. So we'll see. I'll try on everything with you guys. This is a size large and this is more like who has a nice slit here this material honestly never looks good on me it's always like shows every angle and curve that I'm like really trying to hide but I like this little corset detail and it even ex extends to the back so I hope this works out I feel like this is just like a really good like classy dress Hopefully that will work. And then next, oh my gosh, leather pants. Ah, I love leather pants. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are size 10. So I'm between an eight and a 10. These have stretch to it. Oh, I adore these. Oh my gosh, they're just like a boot cut leg. And then just simple pockets, really just a classic leather pant. And then the lining is, yeah, like this normal, like fleece almost lining. So they are kind of heavyweight, but I just feel like leather pants, you could dress them up, you could dress them down, 
you can go out with them. You can like look classy with them. I love leather pants. I will say leather pants, like I don't own any real leather pants. I should be saying pleather pants. All the ones I own are from Express and I absolutely love them, but I do wash them and then just air dry them, which it takes time. And then this part, like where your thighs rub together, if you have that problem like I do, after a while, it does start to like peel, at least my ones from Express. But what I will say on that is like, I've worn them a ton, like a ton, and they finally started peeling, so I had to get rid of a pair, but I got my use out of them. Oh, these are funky like these. So these are size medium. Um, oh my gosh, look at this. Like this is a little bit off kilter. Oh my gosh, so cute. And the pleats, these are not stretchy at all. I'm a little worried, these look a little small. Um, these are some really nice trousers and it's more like a muted orange. Um, classic pleating down the front. I don't know if these are gonna work. I feel like these are gonna maybe be too small just because there's no stretch, but I love the boot, the boot cut fit at the end. Oh, this is another jumper or jumpsuit. This is in a size large, so I got it in a medium and a large. This might have been full price, I don't, I don't recall. This one honestly looks too big, but you know, you really can't tell until you put it on. You're like, ooh, that's not gonna work. Oh my gosh. Oh, this color. What do we have here? Oh my gosh, guys. I just love clothes. They make me so happy. This is so beautiful. You guys. Oh, it even has pockets. Oh, no way. This has pockets. Like, this is something I could wear to a wedding. This is in a size medium. This material is so well like so constructed and well made this even has um a bit of boning in it i can feel and then the back even has some stretch to it which i think is so oh my gosh this is such a beautiful and classy dress oh i hope this fits i really hope that fits that is beautiful next we have this in a size medium what is this oh Huh, not sure on this one. We'll see when I get it on. I thought this might be good for like the office. Like in the fall, throw this on, um, like transition because it is uh, no sleeves. But I don't know, it, I love the tweed. I just feel like tweed fabric is such like a classic. Um, and it does have a zipper down the back. Does it have pockets? It does not have pockets. I feel like pocket, when you find pockets, it's like, I don't know what it's like, but it's like the best thing ever. So great. Oh, we have another, um, the first skirt I showed you, but this is in a size medium. So I got in a medium and a large, and because this is stretchy, a medium white might work depending if I wanna wear it like lower on my hips or more high-waisted, which high-waisted is better, but then it might be too short. So we will find out. I'm seeing a lot of orange in this haul. <laughs> Next we have this in a size medium, this skirt. Oh, this is nice. And this is also really stretchy. Loving the texture of this fabric. It's really like a light weight, but it feels very like, it feels a little bit heavy. Like it has some weight to it, but not in like an uncomfortable way. Um, this, oh, I hope this works. This could be cute. That could work. Oh, something else. Oh, no, just a Zara dust bag with nothing in it. Oh, that might have fallen there. I will say, Zara does an excellent job of packaging their um, their items. Like, everything I'm very impressed with. When I order from, like, H&M, everything is just thrown in bags, and it's not even, like, really folded because it moves so much. And, like, they even do tissue paper and, like, a little um, sticker. Like, very... Do you guys see that? What is this? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what is she? <gasps> okay, I only see the back and I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a size, did I see size large? Size large. Is this not the cutest thing? I feel like this is so Reese Witherspoon. It says $150. I hope it was $150, but because I don't, Zara's just never worth, Zara's never going to be worth $115, $150 to me, like, no matter what. Oh my god, okay, it even has extra buttons on the inside, I love when they do that. We'll just 
try this on. Obviously awful with this outfit. Oh, it even has like cuffs. I just feel like this is such a classy tweed to me. It's just so classy and I love the color pink. I don't know, we'll have to see when we like try it on with an outfit that will look cute. It's really comfortable. It is kind of heavyweight though. Um, and it is lined, so super nice on that. And I'll give you a little close up of the texture and the details of the buttons. Super, super nice. I'm curious guys, comment below. Do you think Zara is ever worth $150 for whatever it might be, whether it's a, a blazer or a dress? Like to me, it's just Zara is fast fashion at the end of the day. Their quality is not that great, but could also be decent sometimes. It just depends. Like some of these pieces actually feel pretty decent to me. Um, yeah, let me know. Like, okay, this is a size medium. It says it's $150. Super beautiful. Love this color. It's literally a blazer dress very like jack moose vibes this this feels a little bit stretchy and it feels like good quality but again i just i don't know i feel like zara 150 bucks like full price i know i got this on sale so it was less whatever i did pay for it. but this could be a stunner very cute okay we really we really like this guys because we also ordered it in a medium <laughs> We have this in a medium and a large. You know, I have a pink blazer too that's similar with tweed that I'm obsessed with. Oh, what is this? Okay, this is a size medium. This is like a cropped blazer. I love the texture. I do see that there's pen mark on it. Can you guys see that right there? So that's a little bit of a disappointment, but hey, these are sale items. But at the same time, sale items you're still spending money on just because it's on sale doesn't mean it it shouldn't be given in you know like the best quality as it as it was originally presented so this is also a line let's see how this is this is more of a crop look let's see how this fits this one's definitely a little tight right here this i would definitely need in a large like this is this is definitely tight like if i was just taking a picture in it it looks great right? Well, I think it does. But if you're actually like want to walk and be outside and like actually wear the piece, I would definitely need, I can feel like Superwoman's going to break through. So really cute piece. But yeah, this one would definitely need ugh, in a large, but very cute. Also has pen mark on it. So probably would have to be exchanged anyway. Next, we have, oh, guys, okay. I really didn't even know Zara had dust bags until I just pulled that one out. So, what is in bag number one? These are like decent um, linen dust bags, it even says Zara on it. Oh my gosh, okay, so guys, got a little bit of a story about the things in this box. It's literally basically a few of the same things. So do you guys remember a few hauls back I purchased this bag. I'll come back to this. Do you guys remember a few hauls back, I actually purchased this exact bag and I hadn't used it yet. Still had the tags on it. It was just hanging on my door saying like, use me, use me, use me, okay? And I loved the bag and I was like, oh, you know, I don't even remember what I paid for. If I paid full price, I was still sitting there. And then when I did this huge online order, they had the exact bag on sale. So I returned that one and I just rebought it at the sale price. So I, just love this bag. You guys have already seen this in a past haul, but the embroidery is just beautiful. And like, I feel like I can get a ton of use out of this and I'll, I'll actually use it because it's from Zara and I'm not worried. Like it's like a crazy expensive designer bag that I have to like be careful with. I, I noticed that. Tell me if you guys are the same. Like I want to use my designer bag. But at the same time, like living in New York City, it's honestly like not safe to use your designer bag because people rob you, they hold, you know, hold you up for it. So it gets, it gets really crazy. But these kind of bags, I don't, I don't worry about and I feel comfortable. Like I don't, I can put it on the floor or whatever. Anyways, I ordered two more. I'm not gonna keep both of these. I actually think I like this one better because I already have this color in that bag, but this is, I think it's actually meant for like a water bottle or 
yeah, I would say like a water, sorry, trying to undo this, like a water bottle, but I feel like I, my phone could fit in here, my keys could fit in here, and my card holder, and I just think, I just think it's so cool, like I don't have any bags shaped, shaped this color. All right, let's see, let's see if we can fit. Oh, well, I'm using my phone, so I can't put it in there, but I think my phone would fit in here. I'll try and show you guys. Like, I mean, it's a, it's a different, decent circumference. Like, you could definitely fit, you know, a water bottle in here. But I just think it's so cute. And I love mini bags. And this just, the shape is so unique. It's something, like, that's been out a little bit more for the water bottle holders. But, like, you don't see it a ton. So, I actually thought that was really interesting. So, I'm probably going to return this one and keep this one. Because I'm definitely keeping this little lady. Super cute. Okay. Almost made it through. We have one more box. Ooh, this one. This one is heavy. Oof. Let's see. Can get this open. This is not working. There we go. Okay. Wow, this one is heavy. Okay. Ooh, I see more pink. I just love pink. Oh my gosh, this feels really nice. This is in size small, but it is very oversized. And I think I could tell that on the model because I never buy anything as small from Zara. Yeah, even the shirts are medium. But, you know, when you look at the model, you can tell like, hey, it's oversized. So let me go ahead. I don't like too oversized. I feel like if it's super oversized, I honestly just drown in it and I look so much heavier than I actually am. But I think there's like a happy medium that I personally like for an oversized look. So let's see. All right, I'm gonna pull this. Yeah, see, no, the arms is what is a little bit tight. Not as tight as that white one, but because it's polyester lining, there's actually zero give and zero stretch, which is such a bummer because I like how it falls on my hands. I love the color. I love the texture of it. It has, um, it has some like lines in it. And I love, I love where it falls, but I can already feel it's kind of tight on my arms. Yeah, it's definitely tight. So I feel like this is a return. Bummer, but that's okay. This is why I love to like order stuff to my house, try it on. If it doesn't work, I take it back to the store and then I look what they have in store. That's a win-win. Oh my gosh. I think that this is the top for the pants that I showed at the beginning. This is a size extra small because it was the last one they had. It looks like it might work, but also it might not work. Oh my gosh. This set is so old lady vibes and I love it. Like it's very 19, like 50s-esque, like with the big pockets and the beautiful buttons and the tweed, even the color. So. We'll see, but that was the last one, but it looked kind of oversized, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a chance on you because you're that great. Oh boy. As if I don't have enough of these in my closet. It looks like I got these in two sizes. So I got this in a medium and a large, and so I'll put the medium over there. Oh my God, y'all should see the pile on that table. Whew. Okay, so this is the size large, and honestly, I will say this obviously feels a lot better quality than the Shein ones I own and then the bottom does have pleating in the back which is kind of fun and unique but essentially it really is the same style dress so it's like we'll see how it looks on because I do wear my other ones a lot but like do I need it do I need like another one in my closet we'll see but the qual the quality is obviously better than than the Shein one Ooh, what do we have here Oh my gosh, I see some goodies in there. Okay, these I got in a size large. Oh, these are fun trousers. These are like, I can't tell if I like the color of these. What do you guys think? Like, can you tell? It's like, um, it's like a mix between baby blue and a really faded denim. And it has a trouser feel, but denim texture. Like it looks like denim. It's a very, it's very much a hybrid. But these are cute, has the bootleg, we'll the bootleg um, cut. Love the sailor pockets in the back. I don't know, these could be a hit and they could also be a disaster. We will find out, but 
Those are definitely unique. I've never seen anything like that. Next, we have this little crop top in a size medium. This this has a little stretch to it, but not much. This is a pretty structured piece. This is beautiful, so I hope it fits, but honestly, it looks like it doesn't cover much of the chest area, shall we say, but, oh my gosh, the shoulders are dream of dreams, and it does have a zipper in the back that goes all the way down, so hopefully it's um, much easier to get on. This this is very structured. That That is, um, that's a nice piece. Next we have, oh my God, does this not look like Balmond? So this is a medium. Honestly, it looks like cheap Balmond though. <laughs> Let's be honest, but look, it's tweed green. And I think this is why it's giving me Balmond vibes because of the buttons. But I really like the color and I like the length. I, I really like the length of the crop top. I'm not into super short ones like that one. That might be too short for me, but this green one, this could work. This has no stretch, and it does have a zipper on the side, but no stretch, and I feel like most tweed doesn't typically have a stretch. If it does, you are like lucky. Ooh, I don't know about this color. This is like a very burnt orange, and also, how do you wear this? What is this, actually? What even is this? So this is not a size medium, but what is this, you guys? I don't know. This is like a tangled rat's nest of, I don't even know what. Is this a shirt? Is it a dress? There's like all these things on it. I'll have to go look at the order because I don't even know what this is. Maybe the tag will help. No, the tag doesn't help. Doesn't even say what it is. So to be determined. I don't know what this is, but whatever it is, no stretch to it. I feel like it's gotta be a shirt or else that's the shortest dress ever and will never work for me. Oh, thank God. Okay, I got one in a large as well, which might work out better if it's a little bit longer, but also maybe it's not, maybe it's just a little bit wider. So we'll see on this, but the same shirt, medium and large I got. It's so nice to have two sizes to try on because sometimes you're like, Ooh, like the large looks nice on me and I feel comfortable, but like there might be a little bit of room, but then you try on say the size down. It's like, oh no, actually this is a perfect fit. I'm comfortable, it looks better. But I really like to try and compare the two. Okay, there's this shirt, which definitely gives me a lie of vibes, like with all the cutouts. And this is a pleather shirt. So you definitely wear a black bra or black tank top would be even better. And it looks like a crop shirt. Um, yeah, we'll see on this. I don't know if I like this or not. It definitely has stretch to it, like a lot, a lot of stretch. And this is a size medium in case I didn't say. So I do like the bottom though. That's cute. So this could be, again, total disaster or like most amazing thing in my closet. To be determined. Next, I've got more orange. This is size extra large. And I think the one, the extra large is probably because it was the last one, but I was like, let me just try. But this looks so short, like this is very 70s and I would have to wear it super low waist, low waist, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work out. I do like the stitching there and it does have a zipper on the side. I don't know. We'll see on this one. It might be too short, but won't know until we try it on. Ooh. Oh, okay. Not like in this pattern. I don't know what I was thinking. What is this? Oh my God, I will try it on. This is an extra large. I don't, maybe it looked really good on the, the model, but like, okay, so this is all, like pleated and holds you in or ruched I should say and then it's spaghetti straps which are adjustable and then the bottom is just kind of like flowy I don't know I will try this on but I do not like the pattern it's like Lisa Frank very Lisa Frank I don't know why it just reminds me of that okay and the last item is another repeat item and what size did I get this in? Oh, I got in a large. I have a medium and a large. 
again i'm obsessed with this dress i hope it looks nice on it feels so nice looks so classy so i can't wait to try this on i really hope it works so thank you guys for joining me for my zara haul let me know down below what you like what you didn't like what you're gonna try and find in the sale um and please subscribe until next time guys see you later bye